G'day folks, my name's Jaden Drought with the Farm Trader magazine. Here we are in the mighty Manawa 2 where the soil temperature is probably higher than the air temperature down here. But nonetheless, TRC tractors, they're the lower North Island distributor of the weaving drill behind me. Now I've got the uh, importer here, That's this is Dave, he's from Fairwood Agri Solutions. G'day mate. G'day, how are you? Good mate, good. So, beautiful drill. It's come from the UK. Give us a little bit of, of history about the Weaving Drill. It's a family owned company, I believe, and so tell us a bit about where its origins are, mate. Okay, so yeah, we're dealing with a, a family business, I guess, yeah. and, and Simon and his father are still, you know, proprietors of the business. And they were just uh, second hand machinery dealers, as a lot of companies are, and just, and just built and grew and stumbled across a new concept through a contact, um, actually a contact of mine from, from a long way back, uh, Tony Gent, who I worked for when I went to England the very first time. Um, this unique drill, unique disc and this unique angle and pivoting. Yeah. Um, they joined forces and started marketing the drill uh, weaving GD or Gent disc drill yeah. um, and have gone from strength to strength uh, to the point now where they're currently producing over 300 units per annum. Yeah, okay, it's true. So that's a drill a day, so I mean that's pretty good going for a, for a family owned business. Too right, yeah, yeah right. it is. So tell us about, I mean, because this is quite a, you know, it's a revolutionary thing in many respects. I mean, not many drills have a, you know, what, what is it, 23 degree, degree, you know, like, so that's quite quite a lot. So, and, and obviously it moves around, which is, um, which is, which is interesting. So tell us the reason why they've gone for that angle. And, and also why it moves. Okay, um, undercut disc is the technical description for it. Yeah. Um, born on the principle of uh, a double V disc or a single offset disc has to compress soil against soil to create a slot. Yeah. By, by pivoting the disc over and pairing the soil vertically, you create a slot, but you're not compressing the soil. Yeah. So what we get is a, a, a nice slicing action and then a pairing opening of the soil uh, a slot for the seed. And so we talked before we actually seen, we could see the, the seed, there's quite a variation in the width of the seed, but it is 150 mil, that's the spec, but you're seeing in germination quite a, a, a difference between the 150 mil, isn't it? Yeah, so tell, tell us about that. Yeah. So we, th this is what we call the New Zealand spec drill. Um, X Factory from Weavings, they've closed the centres up for us from yeah. 167 centimetres to 150 and then we've um, developed further a hydraulic system for the rear wheel to help it contour. So that's, that's our take on it. Yep. Um, as far as the distribution of the seed, because we're pairing the soil vertically, yep. we're creating a vertical shelf, yep. I guess, yep. for a better word, under the soil where the seed can distribute. Yeah, okay. And so that you actually end up with, with very even seeding, isn't it? Yeah. So you don't, it's not the distinct drill lines that you're used to. Yeah. Okay. And so then tell us about, so another cool feature here is we've got these hydraulic rams, which is not a common thing on, well, not on each individual coulter on drills. Tell us the reasoning there. Um, I guess. Just it's better system than spring yeah. to be honest. I, I th and contour follow. So what's what's the contour following? It, we've got 400 mil of cold yeah. travel. Yep. And we've got the ability to to to, to distribute that fluid, hydraulic yeah. fluid, in a closed circuit. Yeah. Left and right side of the drill. Yep. And and obviously between the accumulator. With, with accumulator. And, and bet between its brothers. Yep. Okay. Cool. So now obviously we've got the big box. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about um, hopper and the, the distribution and the metering. Okay, so this is what uh, we call the seed and fert spec. Yep. So we've actually got um, two distributors on the big box yep. and we've got a single distributor up the front. So what we've got at the front is an accord metering system, yep. 130 litre integrated hopper, ideal for grass seeds and swedes, kales, all those slug baits, slug baits yep. things like that. Then we've got uh, the two big boxes with Weaving's own distributor. It's yep. based on the Accord, but it's got 40% more capacity. Okay. There's a big, big hole for peas and beans and stuff yep. at four or 500 okay. kilos. Big seed. Yep. Fertiliser. And fertiliser. Perfect. And stainless steel. Stainless steel. Yep. But the front one is an Accord metering system though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. And so now tell us about the in-cab interface, how that, yeah. So it's all um, RDS, Artemis light controllers. Yeah. Um, so we can have up to four bin options, two fan options, all running through this, the, the one, one controller, which is, yeah, it's very simple, very easy to work. Sweet. And this is a 4.8 metre? 
what are the width. Okay, so we run um, on this platform from four meters, 4.8, six, and then 6.4. Within those configurations we have seed and food options yeah. and then we've got the big daddy at the far end of 8 metres but that is a seed only version. Yeah, okay and that's a true arable big capacity drill. Yeah, okay perfect. Hey thanks very much Dave for your time today. One thing that's impressed me is that uh, this is a 4.8 metre drill and, and while it might look big and imposing and, and it is an 8.5 tonne drill like it, the coulter pressure is impressive We've only got a 170 horsepower tractor on the front, so uh, I know this is a flat paddock, but the tractor is just idling. So in terms of the capacity of the drill, in terms of hectares, and, and the horsepower that it takes to pull it is, uh, is very minimal. So that, that's gotta be a good thing going forward. So this drill is recommended for farmers, large scale farmers, contractors, Dave's very passionate about regenerative agriculture. It's something that's becoming more popular in the media, I guess, in recent times. But the beauty of this drill is the low soil disturbance. So um, not only do you, not, you can simply drill a paddock and then graze it. You don't have to graze it and then drill it. And secondly, you don't get any weeds come up because you've created a, a, a lot of do soil disturbance and you've got a lot of bare soil on the surface. So, so you've got a clean slot, you can hardly see where it's been. It's been pressed in with a nice press wheel. And so that suits anyone from contractors to, to large scale farmers to high country farmers who want to do their own drilling. And like I said, the beauty is that it doesn't take a huge amount of horsepower to pull it. So it's something that is, is very versatile. A lot of people have got this size tractor now in their fleet. They don't need a, a large frame American tractor to pull it. So it's a very versatile drill given the, the uh, varying widths that you can get it in. I love this, the, the, the disc angle and the way that it does its thing and the biggest thing is the no soil disturbance. It's very, very hard to look and actually see where the drill has been. So that's a great thing. Appreciate your time, Dave. Go and check out the video and check out all of the social media applications as well as the upcoming review in the magazine.